Hi everyone, it's Charlotte here and I'm going to be doing a bathing your guinea pig video today. Hopefully it all goes well, but basically twice a week at the moment I'm having to do a Malaseb shampoo on the girls. So this is the perfect time really to show you how I do it. There are a few differences in what I will be doing to how you would normally do it, like I'm wearing gloves because I have fungal on my thumb which I'm hopefully getting rid of soon and also the girls may still have some fungal on them so I don't want to catch it or transfer mine back to them so there we go but yeah so we're going to be doing a shampoo of all of them and I basically kind of do like a conveyor belt of guinea pigs um, in the bath and they will have a waiting time for their shampoo so that is slightly different whereas if you're doing a normal guinea pig you wouldn't have to wait so long so that's a benefit for you <laughs> but anyway I will get on with it and show you my techniques okay so do excuse I am in my pajamas because I don't want to get fungal on my clothes just in case they still have it but I am going to firstly rinse them but I want to get the temperature right so you want a nice temperature that's comfortable for you but still reasonably warm because you don't want them getting a chill and change it but once you've got the temperature you can either fill your sink up a few centimetres I tend to not do that because my guinea pigs don't like just to sit in the sink so I hold them above the faucet and do it that way Miss Daphne and she is ready for your rinse aren't you? So I gently just put them under the faucet like this and then I just lean them up against the side and they quite comfortably sit there. Around their face I still have to do a little bit. Normally you wouldn't have to rinse around their face or around their ears because it's not good. You don't want to risk getting any in there but because they possibly have traces of fungal I want to get as much skin as I possibly can. I'm going to rinse and then I just lightly rinse them over like that, don't you honey? So because her fur is quite dense you want to rub in, she doesn't like this, <laughs> you have to rub it in because you can see that, well I don't know if you can see actually, but there's still dry patches of her fur and I want to get it all wet ready for the shampoo. Yeah? You're a good girl. Hey. Oh, you're doing so well. Okay, now once I've got her all rinsed, I'm going to grab my shampoo, which is just there. For not, not good organisation, Charlotte here. Okay, and then I'm going to just lightly put a slight strip down. Oh, I know, she hates having it rubbed in. So I'm going to rub it in gently and try and get all the spots that I got wet. So with guinea pig shampoo you want to get something that's made for them because other shampoo is not good for them. At the moment I've got the Malaseb like I've said but that is mainly for cats and dogs but it's prescribed for them at the moment. So I recommend Gorgeous Guinea's shampoo. I've used Lysineasy and Nima Manuka and I've always had success with those. I know, you hate it don't you? Okay, I'm just going to switch so I can... Get the other side. Oh I know, you're making lots of noises for everyone, aren't you? Yeah. Oh I know, you are. Okay. And then I might have to add a bit more. Just because her fur is so dense that the shampoo is not enough. And then just a bit on your tummy. Now because they're at the end of their treatment. I'm not really too bothered if I don't get every part, but if you're doing it, and you definitely want to make sure their bum area is nice and clean, and their tootsies. So we'll just make sure your tootsies are all right. Yeah, make sure they're nice and clean. Oh, I know. Okay, so once they're done, this is 10 minutes. I've got to leave this on, so I'm going to pop her in the bath, and I'll get on to the next one. Okay, so I've now got number two, which is Miss Clara. We're going to run her under the faucet again, making sure the temperature is alright beforehand. Clara is not a fan of baths, so when you have a difficult pig, 
you want to just have one hand under them and preferably one hand below because they will wriggle and jump. Clara loves to spring her back legs to try and get out so I try and make this as quick as possible for her. Yeah. Now because she's been shaved before that she hasn't got that much hair so it's not too difficult to get into her hair. It's not as dense as Daphne's. So we shall do that and then we'll put a bit on you. So basically just repeat what I've done. So if you want, if your guinea pigs really don't like standing on this um, kind of surface because they slip, um, you can put a towel underneath. So it will get wet obviously, but it will make them more um, comfortable. But because this is fungal, I don't want to have to wash so much stuff because I don't want a risk of having to throw it. Okay, and there we go. I'm getting there. We oh, know. Okay, doing little tootsies. And under your belly. Mm. No, you don't like it. Okay, so she's now done and I'm going to leave her for 10 minutes as well. So I'm going to put my alarm on. And next we'll have Arabella. Okay, next we have Miss Arabella, who doesn't like it either. So I'm going to gently rinse her. Excuse if you can hear my dog barking. That is probably because my mum's partner is home. Yeah, so Arabella is showing that she really doesn't like it because she springs her back legs. So try and support them for as much as you can on their back and their bottom. Get under. I know, you hate it. Now most guinea pigs won't like having their bottom. <laughs> so just do expect that it's probably going to be difficult to start with especially. My girls have had lots of baths now and they're still not 100%. Daphne is actually the best. You probably could tell. Um, so yeah, Daphne I started from quite a young age because she had the fungal so I think she's more used to it whereas the girls, I didn't give their first bath till a good few months, probably six months old at least. You don't like it do you? So you just want to be gentle as much as you can. If they do make little squeals and everything you know that is to be expected because they probably won't like it. Especially if you're roughing up their coat. And if they're a long hair, it's probably even more likely because it's more comfortable. Okay. There we go. Just rub your bum and your tum and around your face. And your tipsies. We're all done. Yeah. Okay, so she's now done and I'm going to put them in the bath for 10 minutes as well. Hey, are you having
done with the drying and everything, you will have some piggies looking like this. You know. You know. Yeah. Oh, they're so cute. Um, but anyway, so now I do a step by step hair drying. Now, if you're not confident, don't try this because some guinea pigs can be scared by it because obviously it's a loud noise. I personally have bought a special pet one which is slightly quieter than a normal hair dryer and not as um the power isn't so hard, so that's really good, isn't it? Yeah. Um, so basically I do that lightly on them, I get them mainly dry and then I leave them because they can't stand it for too long which is understandable so I will show you some of that something that looks like this so you have three snuggly piggies all in a row and yeah so now I'm going to give them their veggies and let them have a good dry off in their snuggly sacks and when they're all dry or virtually dry I'm going to pop them back in their cage but that is all it is really so everything I've done is what really works for my three girls it may not work for your piggies unfortunately but there are a few tips so hopefully you enjoyed the video and I'll now show you some footage of them eating their lovely veggies.